collecting eggs and raising butterflies seems to be all the rage this year, especially with COVID and the homeschooling and seeking activities quest that seems to be plaguing most parents. But what happens if you live in a condo or you have a home, but you don't have the ability to plant and adapt the environment in order to entice butterflies in? How can you give your children the same hands-on learning experience that, say, a mom who can plant milkweed and goldenrod give to their kids? Or perhaps you're like me and you want to expose your kids, but you have no desire to be touching bugs, handling bugs, collecting eggs, looking for caterpillars, or being responsible for raising yet another being. Well, you can come out to local parks and you can take your chances with trying to seek out eggs and caterpillars and butterflies. And there are certain parks that you'll have better success at than others. I've linked a few parks with higher volumes of butterfly habitats and butterflies in the description below if you'd prefer to go exploring. And I'd love to hear what varieties you come across in your adventures but most of the green space in Toronto is really not set out as ideal butterfly habitats, as you can see here. Now the Toronto Regional Conservation Authority is changing that and many spaces are becoming far more pollinator friendly. Now, even if you manage to find an egg or a caterpillar, odds are you're not gonna find an egg, a caterpillar, a chrysalis or a cocoon and a butterfly all in one visit. And you won't be able to show the complete life cycle for a butterfly. So this is where butterfly conservatories come in. They really help to fill that gap. Recently, we traveled to the one in Cambridge, but there's also another one in Niagara. If you're interested in doing other nature walks and activities with your kids, make sure to click this video here and see how we expose our kids to it. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button below and we will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.